So the 2023 Game Awards is still a few good months away, December 7th to be exact. But we already have a lot of games that are Game of the Year worthy, if you know what I mean. Some of them are already out, some of them will be released soon, but today I made a list of 5 games that I think could easily grab the Game of the Year title. Now if anybody is wondering, I put this list together after doing a sh ton of research on Discord, asking people on Reddit, reading forums, reading reviews, watching YouTube videos, streams, and yidi yidi yada yada. But basically I did a lot of research and I put this list together based on what game people think will win Game of the Year 2023. And spoiler alert, I think everybody who's watching this video right now has a hunch of which games could grab the Game of the Year title. <laughs> Treat yourself to 19 inches of venom. What do you mean by that? So number 5 on our list here, to many people's surprise, is Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now before you all jump at me, hear me out. Resident Evil 4 Remake was one of the most anticipated titles this year, and when it finally came out, it did not disappoint at all, both visually and in every single other aspect. It was so good that it felt like you were playing a brand new game and not a remake. Cause at the end of the day guys, what we're really looking at here is the best horror game of 2023. I doubt any other title will top it. We're looking at the best remake of 2023, and we're looking at Capcom's third biggest hit this year on Steam, just behind Monster Hunter World and Rise. We're looking at a game that sold over 5 million copies, not to mention the almost perfect ratings Resident Evil 4 Remake has. 10 out of 10 on IGN, 92% on Open Critic, 5 out of 5 on Trusted Reviews. Everything from jump scares, story, action, and the scary ad atmosphere overall was pitch perfect in this game. And let's be honest, who doesn't crush on Leon Kennedy and Ada, god damn. Also, I have to add that Resident Evil 4 Remake has an upcoming DLC in the makings called Separate Ways, and on top of that a VR mode too, which got people super excited. Number 4 on our list is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Now I know this game did not have the smoothest launch, but once the patches came out and everything got up and running, Jedi Survivor provided and still provides one of, if not the best, Star Wars experiences in gaming to this date. Firstly, if it doesn't grab Game of the Year, it will definitely grab an award for one of the most stunning visuals in any video game. Jedi Survivor looks absolutely insane. And every good thing from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is in Jedi Survivor, but 10 times better. The combat is super satisfying, the open world is bigger, more places to explore, and one of the biggest highlights is the Souls-like take on Jedi Survivor, and that is the bosses. You're gonna be put through some iconic Star Wars monsters and some intense Jedi duels. And one thing's for sure, Jedi Survivor is not only a treat for the Star Wars fans, it's a treat for everybody who likes open world exploration games that come with a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so now we're in the top 3 games that could potentially win Game of the Year 2023. The third game, weirdly enough, is Baldur Gate 3. See what I did there? Baldur Gate 3 is the third game on the list? No? Okay, let's continue. So Baldur Gate 3 basically takes the CRPG genre and thrusts it into the next gen of gaming. Usually many games like this start slow, not Baldur Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 starts guns blazing. I'm not here to tell you guys a review about the game, I'm here to tell you that that Baldur Gate 3 is the third one on this list for me because of the user ratings, mostly the players. It's the players that absolutely love this game, and since it came out, people have been playing it and grinding it like crazy. Baldur's Gate 3 is currently sitting at a 97 out of 100 for critics, which is one point ahead of another game that we will be talking about soon. And that's the main reason why people think it could possibly get Game of the Year. Now don't get me wrong, the chances of Baldur's Gate 3 actually winning Game of the Year are very slim. To put it into perspective, if Baldur's Gate 3 actually won Game of the Year 2023, it would be the equivalent of an independent foreign film beating Oppenheimer at the Oscars. Because Baldur's Gate 3 was developed by Larian Studios, which uh, as a company, as a studio itself, isn't super known and popular, which matters a lot when it comes to awards. 
So now we're in the top two games, and this is where things get spicy and controversial for a lot of people. Because we all know that 2023 is probably the best year to be a gamer, and the competition for game of the year is so big. With that being said, I think we all know which games are gonna be in the top two here. And the hardest part of making this video for me was deciding which one should go second and which one should go first. Statistically speaking, the second closest game to winning Game of the Year 2023 is Spider-Man 2. And the first game that, according to the people, is most likely going to win this year's Game of the Year is Zelda Tears of Kingdom. And for good reason too. Uh, Zelda Tears of Kingdom basically reinvented the wheel for the Zelda franchise, mainly because of the addition of the Ultra Hand, which basically turns Link into a builder, not to mention the boss fights, which are a big highlight in Tears of Kingdom and are among the best in the series. Basically, Zelda Tears of Kingdom has raised the bar for action-adventure games in a very short amount of time. And because this game, along with Breath of the Wild, have such a massive community of people who are die-hard fans of the Zelda games. Tears of Kingdom has the biggest chances of winning Game of the Year. But I'm gonna be fully honest, as a big Marvel fan and a big Spider-Man fan and a sucker for good PlayStation exclusives, I think that Zelda Tears of Kingdom has nothing on Spider-Man 2. I mean no disrespect towards the Zelda fans, but for me, Spider-Man 2 makes Tears of Kingdom and other games on the this list look like light work. Everything from story, which keeps you so engaged, gameplay and combat, which feels incredibly well polished, to the stunning visuals and environments and the open world, everything about Spider-Man 2 is spot on. And I am well aware that this game is not out yet, but come on guys, when did Insomnia games ever fail to live up to the hype of a new game? And just by looking at the gameplay trailers and story trailers, Trailers, I feel like a kid on Christmas waiting for this game to drop just so I can go back to swinging through the city of New York, man. I cannot wait. And don't get me wrong, I am not bashing on Tears of Kingdom at all. I think Zelda Tears of Kingdom is revolutionary for the Zelda games and action-adventure titles. But I'm a strong believer that Spider-Man 2 can win Game of the Year 2023. But wait, don't leave yet. Before I end the video, I want to talk about some work the games that are worth mentioning and the number one game you guys are probably gonna yell at me for in the comments for not putting in this top 5 list is Final Fantasy 16. I know there's a bunch of diehard Final Fantasy fans out here but we have to remember that as a contender for the Game of the Year 2023 awards Final Fantasy 16 is sitting at the 22nd place and the games listed in this video and some others are way higher than that. Another worthy mention could be Star Field, Bethesda Studios' newest release, which at the start let a lot of people down, but uh, there is an audience that absolutely loves the game. Another title that could be a contender is Remnant 2, the Souls-like game with guns. We also can put Hogwarts Legacy in this list as well, the game had so much hype and personally I finished it and it was a blast. There is other unreleased titles like Alan Wake 2 that could potentially challenge Resident Evil 4 Remake for the Horror Game Award. And and there's a bunch of other games, as I said, the competition is massive. But with that being said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What is your list of games that you think could win? Or what's the, your number one game that you're sure is gonna win the 2023 award? Let me know, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments. If you guys did enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, feel free to drop a like. And if you're new and want to keep in touch with the content, make sure to subscribe. Have a good rest of the day, everybody, and see you in the next one. Peace.